In today's MTD CNC Spotlight, I'm gonna to talk to you about Tornos. They have uh, several machines available from stock. I'll tell you the models and uh, touch briefly on their capabilities, but of course you can contact Tornos direct to find out more uh, here in the UK. It's great to see lots of machine tool suppliers at the moment doing some fantastic deals, lots of commercial uh, flexibility being offered out there and Tornos is no different. Uh, we're all doing our best to support UK manufacturing. So if you are in the market, for a new turning solution, then you should listen on. Now, uh, Tornos as a business have been making precision machines, precision lathes for many, many years. In fact, if you follow our channel, we've been to Mutier on several occasions where they make their machines. Uh, the machines in question today are the DT range and the GT range. The machines available uh, on short-term deliveries include the DT DT13, the DT26, uh, the GT13, the GT26, and the GT32. I'll tell you the differences between the DT and the GT uh, shortly. But firstly, why should you consider this style of machine, a sliding head lathe? You may be at the moment uh, looking around your machine shop thinking, I need to become as competitive as, po as possible or as possible at the moment. Uh, the marketplace is, is difficult, it's tough. I need to turn components around quickly. I need to run machines unmanned. I need to maybe rethink the way I'm making components. Then sliding head turning uh, can be an option for you. Tornos uh, are heavily involved in this market and the DT range is a great entry level machine. Now the DT13 um, and DT26 are guidebush and non-guidebush machines, one of the fastest machines I've seen uh, in the market when it comes to changing from one to the other. Uh, they are, uh, they're classed as the entry level machine but there's various aspects of these machines which Tornos consider really not to be entry level. One of which would be the power of the spindles and the fact that the main spindle and the sub spindle offer equal performance. Now, uh, the machines themselves have two C-axis. They are a five-axis machine. They've obviously got two spindles and plenty of tools, but they're not just turning machines, and that's important to, you know, important to stress. They are very capable milling centers as well, so you can complete one-hit machining operations uh, unmanned. The second range of machines is the GT. Now the GT machines are, um, they'd be classed as the, the, the next league up when it comes to the, the complexity of the parts that they can machine. These are six axis machines. They have a Y axis on the main and the counter spindle. Again, similar to the DT, same power, front and back spindle, which is, uh, can be seen as unusual in, in any turning machine market. Uh, it means you can, you can pick and choose how you machine the components. If you wanna do heavier cuts on the back, you can. If you wanna do them on the front, you can. You're not restricted in any way. The great thing about the GT range as well is you can add a B axis. So you can do some off-center work. Uh, you can do more, uh, more, more tricky components and parts that are more demanding and potentially more higher value. And that's it from me. Uh, you can contact Tornos Direct to find out more about these models. What I will conclude with is by saying that having been to Moutier, having talked to Tornos customers, you won't go far wrong with a Tornos machine. They've been making precision quality uh, turning solutions for many years and continue to do so. Now might just be the time uh, to get involved with them uh, and of course talk to them about the flexibility on the commercial side as well, which could help you out uh, in the current market.